Okay, in this video, I'm going to configure Snot. So first I'm going to the location where I have downloaded and extracted the Snot setup. This is extracted folder in etc. In this folder, you will see the Snot configuration file. Let's open it. let's check this file in this file you can tell us not what to use what not to use if you don't want to use predefined rules created by a snot team then you cannot use definitely you can uh, deny it by placing hash command in front of those rules so and you can create your own rule and uh, but you have to mention the path here in this configuration file so snot can find them find their location and if you are using snort in inline mode like prevention mode then there are four modules so you can mention which one which model you want to use you have to mention here and also you have to mention the location of that module here and there are more things you can customize in this configuration file and tell snort to use these files and not to use these files it's upon your requirement So now need to create the directories. So these are the directories. So I will copy and I will mention in the description of this video. So the above directory it will contain the snort configuration files and below will contain the rules which are given by the snort community and you can put here blacklist and whitelist. So these are not these are all not necessary to create. You can create few of them as per your requirement. So I will you will find these all these things in the description description of this video. So I have already created. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to move uh, files, configuration files. You can see here. In etc we have these files. So what I need, I need these file. This uh okay, I'm taking all of all files. I'm going to copy in snort folder where which I have created this. So that's it. I copied. So now I will skip the video and I will go straight forward to the other directory which contains the other configuration files of snort and I will copy them and I will point to the path where I will I am going to copy. So now skipping this video, straight forward to going to other folder. So this is the whole path. Uh, that uh, snort dynamic preprocessors just note down the path hole and you will also find this thing in the description of this video so what I am doing these all these all files I am copying to the user local library and snort dynamic preprocessor folder you can see here so I am copying here the all files you will find in the description of this video also After this, copied the all configuration files. You have to do some changes in the configuration file of Snort. So in this, you can mention the, like I'm mentioning here, that address which interface address which I want Snort to run on. And the rule paths. So I'm gonna make my own rule for ICMB. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to comment, place a comment here, this hash, so that the snort would avoid this all the rules. 
which are pre-configured so by doing one by one instead of I am using one command so let me close this so let's open this file again and go to and you will see the command you can see that the command has been placed before every every rule yeah. so now what I need I need my own rule so I need to remove this so that snort can read this location so that snort can pick the rules from this location okay, now let's create a rule So now nah, I have I'm going to copy the rule here I have which I've already made it this is alert it will alert so this we have to alert so we have to mention alert here on the screen because as of now I will use snort as a only intuition detection system so when it is when it will see the ICMP protocol it will trigger the alert and this is the internal home network and port internal network port this is public network going any on public anywhere and this is the public port and this will show the this message on the screen ISMP test detected this is generator ID you can read this uh, you can read information about this on this website I will mention this website on the uh, in this on the description of this video Gen it is a generator ID actually it is used to identify the which part of snort generates the event when the particular rules fires let me show you so once you will download the rules from the official website of snort you will find some rules under this preprocessor rules folder and the snort dynamic rules folder so what I mean by the statement which is given on the website that the keyword GID keyword is used to identify what part of snort generates the event when a particular rule fires so the part of snort means here category let's take an example of port scan if you will get port scan but what type of port scan on firewall you are getting is it TCP or UDP so TCP would have different SID from U UDP so TCP would have different SID from UDP but the both would have a same GID so by this way you will identify that the port scan has happened with the help of GID. So now let's the see this what is ID five triple zero triple zero one, and I want to tell you why I am using this ID number SID number. Just go to this website. Okay, there. These IDs a uh, few IDs are reserved. For future use and if you ID has been used by the snort community they have made rules for us so better to place some gap and use the IDs from far to avoid any duplication so this is why I'm using the ID from far and this is revision number if you update any rule then you can update the revision number also that's it so let's test snort I'm saving this rule now I now need to test the snort so one thing I want to correct one thing I have uh, one um, I did one mistake I need to correct it let's open this file so I need to mention a network address here not IP address okay that's it So now need to test not everything is okay now t to t for test and just using this parameter c to uh, take the snort file and uh, interface is this Okay. 
Okay, let's test. Okay, it says that there is a problem in the rule. There should not be problem. Okay, now it's saying different thing. It says that unable to address these files. Okay. To go to this file. I must mention the path here. If I don't want to mention the path here, I should comment here. So it should not read this. Now it's okay. Now let's test again. Okay, there should be I. Okay, everything is good now. But one thing I forgot to tell you that you must use this command it rebuild the cache and it finds it helps program to find the shared libraries because sometimes when we install libraries it get installed on different place rather than on default location then program find difficulty then program find difficulty to find the libraries so when we rebuild this cache then program can find libraries easily so it's important to run this command because if you not, don't run then you may get an error while using snort so now we are good here so there is no error and it's also reading one rule we which we have made only one rule because we comment uh, we comment out commented because we have commented the all rules we are using only one custom rule here so it's reading the custom rule now it's uh, now I need to open my Windows 7 machine and I also want to make this Ubuntu machine act as a router so it can forward my outgoing packets to internet and also forward my incoming pack and forward incoming packet to my machine Windows 7 client machine so it's very easy to do it now I need to just edit one file this file system control system config file and in this you will find here one line yeah this one So I removed the command. Now this line is readable now. Now what I need to do, I need to restart the system, this Ubuntu machine. So after restarting, the, the routing service would be enabled like it will forward my outgoing packets to internet and it will also forward incoming packets to my machine, the client machine Windows 7. So Windows 7 is already open now need to check the IP address of this Windows 7 is 5 and already I have already signed the gateway uh, same as I mentioned in this diagram so Windows 7 having this IP address and this gateway and also want to disable this firewall okay so now let's first ping 
so now first I need to check the internet is working or not right now again okay it is working so now check on the client machine okay it's going it's p uh, getting ping from gateway and let's ping the I'm going to ping my router okay I'm getting ping so now Ubuntu machine is acting as a router so I ping this machine I ping my router from this machine so it's working and it will also go to internet okay, it's working now so let's start snort console should be in quiet mode and interface so let's test if I will ping I hope it should block should see the we will see the alert message on the screen yes we are getting the alert message now so everything is working fine perfectly so now snort is in detection mode so now in the next video I will configure snort in prevention mode so how to prevent attacks and how can you prevent packets uh, suspicious packets from going outside or coming inside thanks for watching see you in the next video